we are going to pot, repot plants and... Hi kids! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It's your, your future mom and dad and we are repotting plants. I'm getting distracted. We're gonna... Let's just dump this bitch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But gently. Gen don't pull her out. So how, what are you going to do? You dig? Yeah, you go. You can lean on the side. We want to do it gently because we don't know where the roots are. and We want to keep as many as we can intact, right? And the soil is loose enough that you can just ease it out and then work the plant. Let the plant work with you. You know, because the soil is still good. It's just... It was too much space for the roots. Mm. Now, if a, if you have a if you have a plant in in a smaller container or in just water, it'll work on its roots. But if you have it in bigger space, it'll work on its leaves. And that's kind of what you know it does both. But that's kind of what we we witnessed. Is there we go? I got all the root. Is we were in in between and then she restarted or you know this is the root system versus we want a, a, a stronger more sturdy root system mm. um, than this especially going into the cold season so we separate it she didn't have much roots right mm -hmm. um, and she's got a little bit more but you know still not much roots that's why we need a smaller pot and here's the example of what what you want right just a visual if we look at the difference here this is the kind of root system i want because in a in the cold season the leaves might go but if the roots are good then it can always come back you know mm -hmm. so i apologize to these two for you know they need a little extra care and a little extra time. So this is also a Monstera, by All the right, way. let's do it. So these ones, honestly, I think we keep them in one pot because of the way I see the roots. So sometimes together they can help each other so as well. So now it's a matter of what color. What color? I go with the gray. You want the gray? Yeah, because okay. they're about the same size. And then let's just check it, see how it would go. We can give them a little extra length in there. I'd probably put them in like that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Then we put some of the soil in first. I'll lay y'all down. We'll take some of these things out. But really it's, you know, the compost of the plant itself. I'm sure there's other roots in here. Yeah, you see, look, there are roots that, they had roots, they just didn't make it. And what the plant does itself is it'll, it's like um, irrigation. It'll shut off whatever's not working to keep the plant alive. Mm. So that'll become its own natural compost because there's, there's no mold, there's no rot. Soil smells fine. I just make sure that the soil is healthy. And then we put a base in. We're going to use her same soil. It's interesting because the human body does the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's why we scab. Or, you know, limbs. Limbs. <laughs> it, it redirects everything to the core. Yeah. So then you put a nice little base in here. I think this is gonna make her easily happier. And make a little dome, like as if you were making your pasta. Then we take them. And I want them to really focus on their roots now, you know? Um, and the thing that I really like about Monstera is like, if I were to cut this at like this knob right here, it would, you see this little knob here? It starts to sprout roots even in the air. You give me the one behind you. I know she needs some special care because. <clears throat> she she's got, got a little bit, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Or something. Spider mites, but let's be careful because we don't want to mix the soil with her soil because she had spider mites, okay? So. We're gonna get rid of this soil first, which I'm gonna just put back in here because this is good soil. So I'm just gonna mix it up so it's not so dense. And then I'm just gonna, okay. 
That was a good idea, huh? Yeah, it was pretty good. Thank you. Personally, feel like, you know, like we could run through, water through the soil, clean the soil, da da da. I personally am gonna just change her soil and we're not gonna use the soil because um, I know what she's been through. Diluted Castile soap and water and my microfiber cloth. We'll do the same thing for her. She's been having a little difficult, uh, pretty much difficulty since I brought her back from the nursery just because I think just in transition and whatnot I don't even really know where spider mites come from honestly um but yeah she's been dealing with them so we can see what kind of toll that takes on a plant it's not nice so see what's going on with her in here she was really big when I got her and then a lot of the leaves started yellowing and falling off and yeah it was interesting so you can see her root system was pretty vast and that's gone away now I definitely let this go on a little bit too long um, you can see these were all roots at the bottom. There's some here that are still living that have separated. Other than that, it's really small. But this, this plant has been very resilient because, you know, she was under attack and she restarted and restarted again. She's got a nice bulb and a good thing going for her. So we're going to save this. She had another bulb that she just decided wasn't doing what it needed to and just evacuated it. I think that, I don't know where it is, but there's a bulb in here. And then this is the other one where she said, you know, this is what we got and we're starting over. And then we got this one. Um, and there's still some life here. So what I think I might do is just trim these leaves off, put it in, and see if she takes, you know? Um, what I'm gonna do, baby, can you get me some scissors, please? And honestly, I could take a pot that's even smaller than that. Okay. Here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut these. And I like to cut them. You'll see where a new leaf is trying to come in. And you just cut above that. For this one, I'm just gonna snip up here, give it its best chance. This one's got a limp right here, so I'm gonna give it some help. Boom, that'll be that one. Eee. And then this one go here and here prep the plant and then I'm gonna wipe it off before I put it in the new soil now this one is good we'll let it be um, caring for things um, that are still living like you know an animal or a plant um, another human being is a important skill. Um, I'm just going to wipe the whole plant down. First I'll do it with the diluted colloid, um, Castile soap and then I'll do it with just water or I'll just rinse her off after after we wipe her off with this. That's important because it helps to build your character, helps you with your patience. You have to be very patient with plants. You have to be very patient with people and animals. You really wanna make sure you get in the leaves. I like, this kind of makes me think of like cleaning ears. So we get in there. It's also like a nice, you know, calming meditative practice. So 
taking care of a living thing that's not, you know, barking or talking to you um, allows you to slow down and, and learn more about yourself as well. But even if you are taking care of someone that or something that does talk to you, um, you can, that's another level of learning. Um, but I think in, in the city we get so separated or detached, it can become easy to be detached from, you know, the soil, um, leaves, um, nature. And so, yeah, this is a good one here. Um, this is what spider mites can look like and it's not so bad it's not like it used to but you see the little webby and the little whites in there it's little spider mites so they were trying to come back and so on something like this you kind of just got to check every so often yeah, check the leaves especially check under during the root system see if there's any little webbies look for any yellowing or spotting that's if you're into plants and stuff like that. Make sure you wash your hands very well and don't touch your other plants because you don't want it to spread. It can spread. Um, and just, especially when you get to the point where, like, I know people who will have plants and they like them and they just want them to look pretty and then they get sick or something like that and they'll throw the plant away or they'll give the plant away. And it's like, there's something about, like I freaked out when this one got sick because I'd never had a plant that had visible sick anything. I, you know, they either just would brown and whatever and didn't take or, or it was like, like, I'd never seen anything like this. So this was like another level of like plant mom life where I was like, oh shit. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Why are you sick? I know, I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, that's a living thing too that's attacking you. Like, this is fucking weird. What do I do? And there's like so many things that you can do. So then just like intuit and try something. And like, oh, you don't like this window? Let's try a different window. I like to check. And I like to put them in and see. And because we don't have a ton of roots and we're having them work together, to create a solid root system, this is going to be a perfect size, and it's okay if it's like you know, overflowing in the pot or whatnot for a while. I don't mind that. I kind of like my plants out here doing the most. And I'm going to use this soil because um, this one, you know, she was having some trouble with. It could have been left over, like partially my soil and partially left over nursery soil. Sometimes you just got to change your plant's soil. You can also see the difference. Like, look at this, the richness in this versus that. Just, you know, not only by color, which I know this is, this one is a little bit more moist, but yeah, I'm using my intuition. This has been a couple conversations. We also take care of plants. You've seen it before. Um, we were talking about something else in that video, but in this one, we're actually talking about the plants. Um, because it matters. What what kind of things do you take care of that, you know, help you in your relationships? Because my nurturing for my plants, I feel like, is a, a big key on how I not only nurture myself, but how I nurture Tafik. Mm. You know, and being able to share that with you and teach that to you is like, it's really special to me, so, mm. yeah. Well, I thank you.